What's up, guys? It's Lichi here. So I'm here at Cinema Rolls Cloud Cafe. The topic of the video today is teaching you guys how to grind cinnamon coins, which are the coins that you can use to buy anything from the Cinema Roll Exchange Store. So in this video, I'm going to split it into two sections. Basically, one is how to work in the front of the cafe and one is how to work in the back of the cafe. So first, let me go over some like theory or information. There's three basic ways that you can earn coins in the front of the cafe. One would be greeting customers, two would be serving items, and three is cleaning up the items after people are finished eating. I'm gonna show you some strategies and methods for doing all of those things efficiently so you can get the most coins as possible. Okay, so first, serving customers. As you can see, all you have to do is wait behind this register and when new characters come up, you press F or tap on them, I guess, to interact with them. As you can see, every customer looks three times and I think they're like scanning the menu in the back in order to do that, then you can interact with them. So understanding the timing of that is pretty important. So that's one thing. The second thing is, as you can see, if you wait here and look through the window, you can see when the blimp shows up that drops off more customers. You can also see from far away when more new customers are kind of walking in. I would not recommend just like waiting here at the registers for the customers to come because as you can see, there will be a lot of downtime because the customers are pretty much really slow. So even though doing this is a pretty easy task compared to the other tasks, you won't get coins that fast. So I would not really recommend only doing this. This brings me to my second point, which is how to serve items. So right behind the register is the pickup counter. And as you can see, I've picked up three items right now. And when you pick up an item, it shows you these two characters, which are the two characters that you can serve this item to because it's what they ordered. My tips for this basically is make sure that you clear everything, pick up three items at a time so you don't have to keep running back and forth to the pickup counter. Um, I usually scan around the cafe for the color of these people's heads, especially if it's a weird color like uh, black or green or yellow, it's kind of easy to see. So we can come here and look at this green character and serve it immediately. Select the next item, a black character. Is this Batsmaru? Yes, it is. That's perfect. And then a green, we don't see any on this side. So let's run over here and with the pigtails right there. So as you can see, scanning the heads of customers is usually a pretty good bet for how to serve quickly. I will say it is sometimes kind of confusing between people who wear the hat of the character and the actual character. Something you should be careful of though when using the strategy too is that the characters can wear different outfits. For example, if I was just looking for a blue head, Tuxedo Sam is wearing a hat in this outfit. So sometimes it basically doesn't always work, but it does help you narrow it down besides going to every single table and talking to every single customer. You should also understand the traits of every character. For example, Panned Apple is easy to spot because of his head. Karomi is easy to spot because she has a big head with these ears. And Dear Daniel is sometimes hard to look for, but he isn't one of those. So let's look for him on this side. Yeah, he's over there in the corner. Another thing is that the smaller characters, for example, Koro, Koro Kuririn, he always sits in like this uh, high chair because he's small. I think there are a couple other characters that also always sit in high chairs like this one, which I forgot the name of it. So yeah, that's another thing is you can look out for the chairs of certain characters as well. I have seen the same character inside the cafe multiple times, but like wearing different outfits. So that is something to be aware of. Although I don't think I've seen the same character like wearing two outfits inside the cafe at the same time, if that helps. Okay, so the third method that we have here is clearing plates. So let's run around and you can see that the plates that are empty look like this and the cups. You will basically get one coin for clearing every single plate. So this is a pretty easy and simple thing to do if you're already running around serving customers and stuff. And just to go over the rules of how this works, if I'm carrying an item, you can see that I actually cannot interact with and clean up this plate. 
There is an exception to this rule. So let's say that I'm carrying two items. If I serve this item first and I'm not selecting anything else, I can clear ahead the plates. So if you're carrying an item already, it's best to just serve it and then you can clear any plates that you see along the way before you serve the next item. One more thing that I should mention is that there is like a speeding up option for running around the cafe. Uh, it's the same command as when you skateboard. So when I have it turned off, I am running like this, which is really slow. But as you have noticed for the rest of the video, I've like sped up like this. So I would definitely recommend turning on this speeding up feature just because it helps make everything so much more efficient. Okay, so I've gone over three ways that you can earn coins in Cinema Roll's Cloud Cafe. The next step is basically putting all of these things together. So like I said, none of these methods of just doing one single thing out of the three is going to get you the most coins. The most important thing is just to like keep moving. Like if I see no one at the counter, if I see nothing to serve, then I should go clear plates. And then over time, you can continue adding those types of like efficiency tips that I went over. For example, if you serve one item, then you can clear tables while still holding other items. Basically, the most important thing is just to keep moving and make sure that you're doing something at every moment. If you do that, you'll be racking up these cinema roll coins in no time. Oh yeah, one more thing I should mention. If you're holding items, you can still interact with customers. Unlike when you're holding items, you cannot clear empty plates and cups. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have other questions about anything in Cinema Rolls Cloud Cafe, please let me know and I will answer in the comments. Thanks guys. See you next time.